Oh, things might get weird here. What's cracking, you bunch of maniacs? Outlaw back here with a mullet. Had to do it, baby. Getting married in a couple weeks, you know. I had to get a haircut for the wedding, you know. Well, we'll see if it uh, we'll see if it sticks or not. But hey, how y'all doing today? My name is Outlaw. Welcome back to the Mud Jug Channel. Here we do dip vidges. If you guys don't know what a dip vidge is, well. We are here in the dip den. This is the dip den. Lots and lots of dip stuff. And within the dip den, we like to dip. Different products, especially that I've never tried yet. This week only on the Mud Joke channel. Well, not this week only, because I might do it again, but you know. This is the first time ever that we are doing Outlaw Week here on the Mud Joke channel, where I am going to have a video up every single day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, not the weekends, because, you know, gotta take a little bit of a break, and, uh, but it's not really for me. It's more f for y'all to take a break from me. Obviously. But today is Labor Day, so happy Labor Day for y'all out there. Be safe. It's crazy times. People are going crazy right now, so be safe out there, y'all. This is what we are doing. We have a five-part series coming for y'all. I've talked about it on my Outlaw channel, but now that we are moved over here to the Mojo channel, I thought it was the perfect time to do it. Guys, we are going to be reviewing and finding my favorite loose snooze ever, okay? Now, I've only done loose snooze a few times, and you guys might be asking what loose snooze is. Loose snooze is basically Sweden's version of their long cut, okay? Or fine cut or whatever. Basically, like, what we are doing today is in my hand is comparable to... Copenhagen long cut original, okay, here in the States. But this is Sweden's version of it. Now, Sweden's version is a little bit different because it is not fermented tobacco like ours are in the States here. It is pasteurized, which means it's steam cured. Fermented, meaning fire cured. Now with the steam cured tobacco, that actually means that it's safer for you. It takes a lot of the carcinogens and the TSNA levels drop and things like that, so it's safer to consume inside your body. That's not weird, but it's true. So what I'm doing is I'm taking five of the top loose snooses of all time. I've done a lot of research and I picked five. Now I have a lot more that I ordered uh, and I got all this stuff and, and I'll, I'll give a big thanks here in just a second. But five, these are the top five that I've seen from Swedes, Germans, uh, freaking Finns, <laughs> Finns? Is that what you guys call yourselves in Finland? I don't know. The Finnish. Everybody over in Europe and even people in America that like to snooze, these are some of their faves. So let's go down the list right now. What we are doing today is Eton Loose. And then we have an original in general. General classic loose right there. Goatberg's Prima Fint Grove Loose Snooze. And last but not least, an originator, Rhoda Lackett. So these five snooses right here, the next five days, we are going to be doing reviews of these and I am going to be picking what my favorite is. And the greatest thing about all of this is I have never tried one of these. The closest one I got was general, but I've never had the classic. I've only had the extra starker, strong, whatever they call it. So that's the only one I've had. So all five of these, never done before. I'm a freaking snooze virgin. But just wait, because the end of these five days, you know, they call me the God of Dip. They call me the Lord of the Lippers. They call me the, the vape villain. At the end of these, these five days, you guys are gonna be calling me. Come here, come here. The Sultan of Snooze! Sorry. Okay, enough chit chat. Let's get right down to this son of a dick. We're doing the Eton original today, Loose. So if you guys don't know what Loose is, you guys are gonna see this uh, in just a second. You're gonna be like, what the dick? You put that crap in your mouth, man? What in the hell? So this is a ton. We got a fiberboard bottom right there. Basically like cardboard, all right? These are what basically, I think all of these in. I, I think I've been saying basically a lot. I apologize. Let's go ahead, crack it open. Oh my goodness. Ooh, okay. Spicy notes on there. Mmm, dang. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Take a look at that. That is your loose snooze. Now it does not, it looks like a muddy texture of what our tobacco would be. Basically what you do here is, I like to go three fingers with loose snooze because I like a big prilla, but it is a muddy texture, just like that. But this stuff, wow, really sticks together more than I've had before. I put it into, you, you can, they call it hillbilly pinching. You can just throw it right in there. 
I'm not like that much of a pro yet. Maybe at the end of these five days, I'll be able to do it. Ooh, this stuff is super, super soft. This is what you call baking a prilla in your hand right here. This is baking a prilla. A snooze, okay? So this guy, it's, you know, it's, you're going to get dirty. You're going to get a little bit dirty. But wow, this stuff is probably the nicest tobacco I've actually messed with. It uh, feels really good in the hand. Super soft. It's probably going to feel awesome in the lip. What I like to do is basically, I like to just get a little ball and then kind of make it like a rectangle so it doesn't hurt your mouth too much. So it's not just like a giant ball up there. This is actually like a perfect Prilla size right here. Sometimes I like to go a little big. The other good stuff about this loose noose is it really gives you a kick of nicotine more than our long cut does. There's a lot more nicotine in this stuff, um, which is nice to have. Okay, that right there, I don't know if you guys can see, you can see that. That right there is a Prilla, all right? We're gonna basically take this and throw it in our upper lip. The reason you throw it in your upper lip and not your bottom lip is because your salivary glands up here are not, are not juicy enough. If you put it down on the bottom, it's going to get very muddy. It's going to get all over the place because your salivary glands are very prevalent down here. Just toss her in, baby. Mm. Wow, that stuff is so soft, dude. Oh my gosh. Ooh, salty. Right on the tongue. Very salty. Reminds me of Copenhagen Long Cut a little bit. This is a lot better, obviously. <laughs> wow. It tastes... Dude. Now I know where freaking Copenhagen got their gosh dang flavor from. This shit right here. Holy crap, man. Wow! Now I do have a little bit of experience with Aton. As you guys notice back here, if you can see, there's the Aton football. I've had this stuff, I've had this football for like, I don't even know, I've had it for six, seven, eight years, something like that. Oh, you do not have to spit with snus. Since it is pasteurized, you are able to swallow it. But since we are here on the Mud Jug channel, we're using the Carbon Hex Mud Jug today. That is the Mud Jug of the day. What a beautiful one, man. What a freaking beautiful one, man. It's kind of trippy, dude. If I was on mushrooms right now, I'd be freaking the heck out, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. Right off the bat, I am getting a great hint of saltiness and the actual tobacco flavor. When I said where Copenhagen got their flavor from is this, because Aton has been around for a very, very long time. Oh, would you look at this? Since 1822, just like Copenhagen? What? Yes, 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 ladies and gentlemen. It says it right on the freaking can. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it on there because I don't have a cameraman today. But 1822, a snooze tradition. Etan, I think is how you say it. I used to say Etan, but I think it's Etan. So this is the Etan loose, made by Swedish Match, who's just killing the game um, as far as uh, as far as snooze goes. When you get a Swedish Match loose snooze, it's just so nice to bake a prella with it. It's you don't get a lot of balls. It just, it's so nice. You can see my hand there, a little brown, you know? That's how you know you're a freaking snoozer, right? Might as well just get a big black spot tattooed on your hand if you're a big snoozer and then nobody will freaking know, right? But this stuff, man, very, very nice. I really love how it feels in the lip. It's super soft in the lip. I'm getting these salty goods, which a lot of people like with Copenhagen Original, but Etan, the thing I like about this, now I haven't eaten in a few hours, so I'm gonna feel the nicotine a lot quicker, quick, qu quicker? But I feel the nicotine a lot more right now than I do uh, with like Copenhagen right when you throw it in. It's like a slow release, you know? This stuff has more nicotine in it. And, you know, I feel like if you're, if you're comparing this to a, an American dip, you can never really compare it the flavor, like how much juice you can get out of it. Because it's not, you're not supposed, it's, snus is not supposed to be juicy. It's supposed to basically just be a substance that's in your lip that slowly releases flavor, gives you the aroma, and gives you that nicotine kick. This is the original dipping tobacco right here. If it wasn't for Swedish snus, we would not have American dip nowadays. And I for sure as tits wouldn't have Outlaw Dip! Outlawdip.com, baby! New flavor coming next month, I think, or a couple weeks. Something like that. Might be soon. I don't know. Give you guys a better look at the can here. There is the gold top. Got to love that right there. A bunch of stuff that I don't understand on it. There is the can. Yes, sir. We got a big warning label coming up over here. I got to give a big shout out to my friends over at Snooze Me. My friend Fred over at Snooze Me sent me this guy right here. If you guys want to try any snooze for yourself or get some snooze, make sure you hit up Snooze Me. Snooze Me? Snooze Me. Snooze Me online and get you some. 
I'm telling y'all right now, I am getting, you guys have probably seen just because I've been making a lot of videos on it, but like I've really been getting into Swedish snooze lately and it's awesome to have a hookup uh, that, that it's able to get it into the state since we don't get a lot of this. We do get general, you see it every once in a while, which we're gonna be doing probably tomorrow. But this stuff right now, let me get a final because I've had it in for, for almost 10 minutes now. First of all, I love how it feels in the lip. It's not moving around. It, it's super soft. It doesn't feel like a big ball up there. Like I've seen sometimes with like Odin's and some other looses where it kind of, you, you feel it a lot more. With this guy right here, it's super soft. Thanks to Swedish Match, they always usually have some really soft loose nooses, which is really good. I love the flavor of this, man. If I can compare it to anything that you guys have probably had or Americans watching, because we do have a lot of Americans that watch, I would say that it's comparable to Copenhagen Long Cut Original. The reason why is because the salty goodness you get that saltiness in there, but you also get that back tobacco flavor. I love the saltiness in snus and in dip itself. I just like that salty flavor. I'm not getting a big burn with this, which you usually don't really get a lot with some originals, but with some mints, I guess you would say, or as the Swedes like to say, colds, those you get a little bit more of a burn. So you don't get a big burn with this, like maybe you would with Copenhagen Long Cut, which I've heard is basically just chemicals that are giving you that burn, so. Who knows if that's freaking good for you. But this stuff right here, man, I love how it feels in the lip. I love the saltiness. And I love the just the, the little hint of tobacco it gives you. It's not crazy overpowering. And I feel like I could have this in for an hour and, and it would still just slowly release flavor for you. Great. I really dig this stuff. This is my first experience with Etten. Aton, excuse me, or whatever it is. I, you Swedes out there might have to uh, tell me about it in the comments below. Guys, this stuff is amazing. I'm a big fan of it. And uh, this is only the first one. We got four more to go, and I'm gonna be picking my favorite loose snooze. And then, and then I don't know, I might start snoozing quite a bit. Oh, yes, sir. Carbon Hex Mud Jug is the mud jug of the day. Don't forget about that, mudjug.com. Link in the description box. Also, guys, if you are uh, new here, make sure to hit subscribe. We got a lot of dip videos coming out for you guys. Basically, to give you guys some clarification on me, Outlaw, my Outlaw channel is now just gonna be specifically for music because, and I do have a brand new song coming out this Friday called Land of the Free. September 11th, it's dropping, y'all. Get ready for that one. And then I have my second channel, Outlaw Outdoors, which I'm throwing up vlogs, a lot of truck videos, a lot of hunting, a lot of fishing, stuff like that. If you guys wanna go subscribe to that as well, please go over there. Links are all in the description box below. Everything you guys do for me, I truly, truly appreciate it. And then we also have merch and boots and mud jugs and dip, a lot of stuff. Everything's in the description box, I apologize. All right, and we'll see you tomorrow on the dip side and, uh, well, keep it freaking heel, Billy, y'all. Holler. Oh, wait. It's time for me to dip.